what I did, why did it chill for me? What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Drake back with another banger. You feel me, man? Today, I'm going to be talking about haters, right? So, uh, this video, the whole purpose of this video, as you see in the title, is to change your perspective on haters, right? Uh, before this video starts, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, on the road to 500 subscribers. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it, right? So, haters, right? So, a hater is someone that basically, uh, regardless of what you're doing, uh, someone that's against uh, against what you're doing, right? Or someone that um, disagrees with what you're doing just because either, one, they don't like you, two, they have an agenda against you, three, they heard somebody else say something about what you're doing and they don't agree just like the other person does, right? So, um, perspective number one, uh, I'll say... Think of haters as one of your biggest cheerleaders, right? Um, okay, so cheerleaders, they're for you, right? But think about this. Everyone needs a negative cheerleader because a negative cheerleader is going to motivate. Everybody uses hating and haters uh, differently. You got some people, you know, I think this is how I used to be, right? So uh, how I used to be is I'll take haters as in, um, oh, like, you know, I make it a big deal. I try to... Um, kind of fold into what the haters think. So let, for example, right? Say I'm, you know, building a business, right? A food business, right? I'm making different recipes. I'm uh, getting different manufacturers. I'm uh, pushing my brand out on social media, right? Uh, I'm pushing my brand out in public, right? Going around telling people about my business, right? Um, you, you'll have your crop of haters who will not want to, um, uh, want to even mess with your business right? Or push your business out, right? The whole point of building something is you have to have people to share it, right? And to give it out, right? Well, if no one does that, it's going to be hard to grow it, right? But at the same time, you'll have your crop of people who will want to help you, which is your, which is your positive cheerleaders. Your negative cheerleaders, they're still, they're still cheerleaders. They're just not for you, right? But see, negative cheerleaders, they push this, right? They push this. And how you like, how you determine it and how you use it, use it as fuel, right? You don't use it as negativity, right? Negativity, it's negativity in itself, but it's not negativity to you, depending on how you use it, right? So, you know, haters, uh, you use haters as a negative, as negative, but positive positivity, right? You use it as motivation, right? Uh, key number two, don't look at haters as... Um, don't look at haters as people hating on you. Use it. Some some haters are actually like trying to push you to to do other things, right? So there's haters that uh, they hate what you like. They hate some of them hate you, but some of them hate what you do. They don't actually hate you, right? So for instance, um, so say back in like high school, middle school, whatever age you're in, but middle school, I'll say, because most of my viewers are 18, 24 years old, so I'll go more so to them. Uh, you know, back in high school, you'll have your, you have your cliques, you got your groups, you got your athletes, you got your band members, you got your choir members, you got your uh, book club members, you got your, you got these different groups, right? You got the basketball team, you got the football team, you got the volleyball team, you got these different groups, these different teams, right? Um, and you you know, everybody will come together as a school, right? But not all of the different groups support each other, right? So, uh, but within that group, that group supports each other, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you got your negative haters, right? They don't agree with y'all coming together and being being one, right? Uh, you gotta use, like I said in the first example, like, you gotta look at that as a, as some haters are trying to actually help you, like, they're trying to actually change how you think about certain stuff. Like, they're trying to push you in another direction, right? Haters aren't always trying to push you in a bad direction. Now, people may say, you know, why? You know, people might complain like, you know, why Why are they so mean? Or why are they like, why are they trying to get me to stop, right? Why are they trying to get me to do, other, do this other thing? Like, you gotta look at it from both perspectives, two perspectives. There's multiple perspectives to, to everything, right? There's facts, but then there's perspectives, right? So like, you wanna look at the facts, right? But people have their own different perspectives. There's facts, then you got opinions, but then like, through those opinions, there's different perspectives, right? Uh, another thing of haters. Um, 
you got to look at haters as uh, as decoys, right? As a uh, what do they what do they use uh, trolls on the internet, right? People hate you know people that hate on the internet, right? There's a lot of trolls because you know you'll say you'll go on Twitter, right? And you'll see like I don't know a basketball player. He might have he's like let's say like um, let's say Gilbert uh, Gilbert Arenas has been talking about uh, how Steph Curry. It might have been Gilbert Arenas. But Gilbert Arenas has been talking about how Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time, right? But then you got Magic Johnson, who's like, man, I love Steph Curry, but he don't have five, uh, he don't have five chips. He don't have, uh, he doesn't have MVP, uh, as many MVPs, because I think Magic has three MVPs. He doesn't have as many accolades as Curry. I mean, he has more accolades than Curry, right? So, like, he's not the greatest of all time, right? But you got your group, your, your, your crop of people, which is a huge crop of people who say Magic is the greatest point guard of all, time, of all time. But you got your huge crop of people that say Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time, right? Because Steph Curry can shoot the ball, right? He can, he can shoot from anywhere. He's a facilitator without the ball. Magic isn't really a facilitator without the ball. But then you got your people who will say Magic is more of a pure point guard, right? Even though Magic was like 6'9", 6'8", he's more of a pure point guard as far as having the ball and, and uh, distributing to like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and James Worthy, right? They'll say he's a point guard, right? But Curry's not a point guard because he shoots the ball more so than facilitates. But see, Steph Curry facilitates in a different way. But see, you gotta agree to disagree. Haters are always gonna try to push one side of the initiative, but you got your non-haters who, uh, who will push a positive side, right? But see, the thing is, you gotta look from both perspectives. Magic has this, and Steph Curry has this. But you can't really call Magic, Magic people that like Magic Johnson over Steph Curry, you can't call them haters. You can't call Magic Johnson or uh, Steph Curry fans who don't like or uh, who or, who oppose Magic as the greatest point guard of all time. You can't call them Magic Johnson haters. You can't call Magic Johnson people that like Magic Johnson Steph Curry haters. Like you can't. You gotta look back and look at it from both perspectives and look at the facts, right? That's like the Michael Jordan, LeBron James debate, right? LeBron leads the lead in scoring of all time, right? But Michael Jordan has uh, has six rings, and he has more Defensive Player of the Years than LeBron. But LeBron has others. He has he has long, longe, long, longe, whew, longevity. He has longevity, right? He's played. He's about to be in his twenty first season in the NBA, right? Yeah, Michael Jordan who's played who played I think sixteen years, fifteen years, seventeen years. In the league, like, but LeBron has a lot, a lot of accolades. You can make a case for either one of them, but see, social media, you you be like, oh man, Jordan, Jordan haters or uh, Jordan haters will say, oh Scottie Pippen, uh, Scottie Pippen is who helped Jordan. Jordan didn't win till Scottie Pippen uh, got to Chicago. Or you could say for LeBron, LeBron, uh, if LeBron didn't have join super team, if he didn't go to Miami, if he didn't go back to Cleveland and have that super team or whatever, or um, even like in the Golden State Warriors uh, Cleveland Cavaliers series back in 2016, right? You could say that LeBron, the only reason LeBron and them won and came back down from 3-1 is because of the fact that Draymond Green got suspended, right? That's the thing. You can't take, you can't say that a person is a hater until you look from both perspectives. Don't always assume it's hating, right? That's the thing you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get down. Hating, the difference between hating and speaking an opinion or speaking from a different perspective. It's, it may not agree with you, it may not be agreement, but it does not mean it's hating. Hating is more of an insult, right? It's more of an insult to injury, right? Hating is physically, mentally, and to be spiritually, right? But you gotta look, you gotta look at the basis of it. So, I mean, those are the biggest things I wanna talk about as far as haters, because you can't, Hating is the new is an, it has always been a thing. It's a, it's more of a new age thing with social media. But then you got you got to separate from the hating, from the trolling, from the uh, from just trying to get attention. You got to separate. You got to separate it all, right? But a uh, nice little nine minute video I made for y'all, man. If y'all enjoyed this, man, like up the video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below. Uh, I'm gonna start posting some uh, basketball stuff on here, um, or not only basketball stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post my uh, routine. I'm gonna post some cooking videos. I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna be I'm gonna get variety on this channel because uh, I don't want it to be just based around one thing. I'm ready to open up this channel to different stuff, and different perspectives. So if y'all enjoyed this, like I said, subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Like the video and uh, follow me on social media too. 
uh, at Draco, Draco Sway. Uh, it's going to be in the description, but if y'all enjoyed this video, I love y'all. Peace.